welcome to another beautiful time on gusto news my name is ifeolua and today my news is going to be surrounding you know nigerian artists such as omale tenny and um, bella shrida i also have um Shil Kutsi and as well uh, Simi and Chiki. But before I go on, I'd like to say a big thank you to you guys for all you do for us. Thank you for the likes. Thank you for comments. Thank you for you know telling people about Gusto. Please keep doing so. And of course, if you're new to this channel, please click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell. Well, starting off this news with um, Nigeria artists, who we can regard to as you know growing artists. Although Tenny has been in the Nigerian music industry for a while, and she has been doing her song a lot as a lot of hit song, you know, to her credit when you talk about songs like Billionaire, you know, a whole lot. Of course, Wonderland album is out, and a lot of people are still enjoying that. Stopping a lot of charts, different trend, you know, um, trend and challenge is going on on that one. And for Bella Shmenda, of course, is a Nigerian artist. Started as a street artist, although you know, it seems to be changing some sorts. Seems to be becoming a more of a spiritual artist. You know, singing a lot about the hues of a society, about things that are not right in the society, about you know how people pretend and a whole lot of things. And for Omale, yes, Omale is a Nigerian artist as well, doing so well for himself. You know, he won the next rated at the just concluded edit award and of course has so many songs you know to his credit just within a few times and being in the nigerian music industry and of course is one person that when you talk about an artist that's you know that came into the industry and took everyone by shock definitely Omale will be one of those names that would come to your mind. Well, this time around, these three artists has been chosen as a you know Nigerian artist that will be performing at the, the Africa Day celebration. Of course, that comes up every 25th of May, and of course, an event that you know that is stated to celebrate the African continent, to celebrate the, you know, the black man and you know black women, to celebrate you know the the achievement and all that has to do with being black, being African. So every year that is celebrated on the 25th of May. And it usually has different artists from the continent of Africa, you know, that that comes to sing for that. And as well, also the host of, of the program is usually African. So yes, definitely the program is to celebrate Africans and of course the Africa continent. This time around, three Nigerian artists, that is Omale, um, Teniola Akpata, and also Bella Shmida has been nominated as one of those artists that will be singing you know, for the African Day celebration, it's a virtual concert. Um, of course, we know that when it comes to this, a lot of artists from you not know, just West Africa, but other regions in Africa, you know, will be performing. As well, Gyaki, who happens to be one Ghanaian artist, has doing so well for herself at the moment as well. Is one of those that will be performing at the concert. But of course, three Nigerians, it happens to happen that three Nigerians will be performing at this concert. Other countries, um, continents, you know, um, region of this continent have you know, probably just one or two, you know, artists that is representing them. But it's so good to see, you know, Nigerian artists, three, not just one, but three Nigerian artists that would be performing at the concert. Of course, it tells uh, it tells us how much Nigerian artists are doing for themselves recently and how they've been able, you know, to spread their wings, spread their talents, not just within Nigeria, but as well, Africa and other you know, part of a continent. Yes, this um, concert is actually to celebrate artists that have been able to win the heart of Nigerians, win the heart of, you know, South Africans and other aspects, you know, region on the African continent. And of course, three Nigerians are, you know, been chosen for this. And of course, we're proud of them. Of course, Tenny is doing her thing. Omale is also, you know, a big thing in the Nigerian music industry and at the moment. And as well, Bella Shmuda. We love to see this and of course congratulations to the guys for making nigeria proud and we hope to see you know what will be going on on the 25th of may moving on to the next on my news is chike of course you know chike is a nigerian singer though you know he is more into the alternative genre of music but he has been able to do so much for himself ever since he came into the nigerian music industry because we know his latest album boo of the bullets is still doing so well you know everybody's still listening to that of course it was nominated at the just concluded this award and of course his manager was like really why didn't Bo of the Bullets win an award at, you know, at the Edis award with how much the, the album has done for him as an artist a lot of people you know got to find out about who is this TK because of how much you know the Bo of the Bullets um, album has been able to push him well on that album there's a particular song that you know everybody loves so so much and of course himself he usually talks about this song that is um running yes on the album and of course he later on had the remix of that with one of nigerian female singer of course simi 
Simi is one artist as well that has remained, you know, that has done so much for herself. One of the biggest songs of her career is Duduke. And of course, Duduke is one of the biggest songs to come out of Nigeria. You know, I miss the lockdown, the COVID-19, and a lot of that. That song was a hit. Different people were using it. Even those who were not pregnant, knowing that she actually did that to celebrate her unborn child. But a lot of people were listening to this. It was used for challenge on different social media platforms and a whole lot of that. Of course, it also won at the just concluded edit. You know, this was a first time category for writer, you know, best song that was well written. And of course, Simi took that for the song Duduke. Well, on this one, the song Running to You that has both Chike and Simi off the Bull of the Bullets album. Uh, it's a remix of a song of the album. This time, it has been able to reach um 10 million streams on audio mac because we know just a couple of weeks ago um chike came up to celebrate the fact that that song has actually reached 3 million um views on youtube and at the moment it's 3 million plus and now on other streaming platforms such as audio mac is able to you know accumulate a total of 10 million streams on audio mac that's a very big big one a lot of times we know songs that actually you know get so much attention or listenership on platforms are usually you know probably afro beat song or afro dance or you know songs that of course the nigerian audience love dancing to for a song from the alternative, you know, um, genre of music in the Nigerian music industry, reaching such a milestone. Of course, it's worth celebrating. And yes, GK is supposed to be proud of this. And as well, we'll congratulations to both of them and we hope to see more from them. Well, moving on to the next of my news is one Nigerian artist. Although um, this family has been in the Nigerian music industry for a very long time, you know, their father has been able to do his thing. And when we talk about those who started music, when you say, um, who is the king of Afrobeat? A lot of people would say, of course, it's Fela and Nikolakbo Kuti. And his son, Sheung Kuti, was recently in an interview with a media personality. He talks about the family, talks about his career, talks about the influence of a family, you know, on his career, that of his siblings, and, you know, everything that they are doing at the moment. Well, Sheung Kuti made us understand that, contrary to what people usually think, that, look, our father is actually, their father is that person that started music in their family. Well, Sheon Kuti was able to, you know, educate people in that interview just to make them understand that, look, music has always been in our family from their grandfather to their great-grandfather. According to you, said their grandfather was um, a clergyman and a lot of them were into gospel music. According to him, he said he thinks that his grandfather is, you know, the first artist from West Africa that was, you know, that was recorded, that has a recording song to his credit. Yes, so, you know, we think whenever you talk about the Kuti family, the person who comes to mind who believed that started something that has to do me with music is usually their father, Fela Anikulakbo Kuti. Yes, Fela did his thing in the Nigerian music industry. It's still relevant till now. Of course, just a couple of days ago, Nigerians on Twitter were upset because he was not, you know, inducted into the Hall of Fame despite the vote, despite coming up, you know, second on the voting uh, um, pool that was released. And, you know, Femi was able to come out to say, you know what, I need Nigerians to just come. There's another voting that went on behind the door and actually that's the most important vote. So all the votes we actually did, you know, publicly did not really make any impact a lot of nigerians were upset that's to tell how much you know respect and love fella um, still you know gets from the people despite the fact that he's no longer here well shion kutu has been able to talk about the fact that look their father is not just you know the person that started music their grandfather um great grandfather was all you know into music and more of gospel they said they were clergymen and they made gospel song according to him their great uh, grandfather was one of the first africans to have um, to be recorded or to have a recording uh, a song that was recorded so of course when we talk about the kutsi family shinwa has made us understand that look it has always been with us from inception music is something that flows in the family and it's good to know that himself with his brother um femi kutsi and also femi's son as well are doing their thing and continuing the legacy by their grandfather great grandfather and of course their father you know saying even down to you know the grandchildren are also pursuing a career in music and of course they are still relevant in what um, what they have decided to do as a family and of course as individuals well it's the pretty family and of course when it comes to music you know one of those nigerian family we talk about is definitely the kutsis well on this news i'll be rounding it up with this on the kutsi families if you're new to this channel please click on the subscribe button and also on the notification bell so you get to see our content when it drops see you next time bye